Today's Monday. Here on Fort Megan again. First thing I'm gonna do is try to catch some bait. High tide is around 12 o'clock sometime. This is the first time I've been out here catching high tide since I've been here. We got here Saturday evening. So I'm gonna see if I can catch some bait and then catch high tide and hopefully we'll catch some Spanish or bluefish, something. I was here yesterday, I didn't catch much. Caught a stingray and a couple other miscellaneous stuff. But I got a crab line here too. I'm gonna try to catch some blue crabs out here. But let's see if we can catch some bait and we can get our lines in the water. Fish. Big old needle fish out there. That's some bait right there. But I think it's needle fish. Let's see if we got them. Yeah, we got them. I think we got some needle fish in here. We can use for bait too here. Yeah, yeah, needle fish. Jeez. Here's some needle fish we can use for cut bait. So, uh, they let go of this net. But here you go. Needle fish. I'm gonna use them as cut bait. I'm gonna cooler here. I drink out of there. Put them in there for some. Use his cut bait, maybe some blues. Get these other ones. get this other one out here. Look at that here. There he is. Little fish. And then thing. Another needle fish right there. I don't want to catch him. There's a lot of needle fish here. Need some finger mullets. Is that more needle fish? Yeah, needle fish. I haven't seen any finger mullets yet. I got some bait right here. It came right in front of me. There you go. Finger mullets. Got about a half a dozen right here. Here in front of my bait. Get in the water here. Finger mullets, good size, good size, good size. Good 
some of these being attacked. the eyes just like that I'm gonna cast it. I'm not gonna cast too far right now look at all these little I'm not sure what little bait is honey look I think it's maybe shad maybe see we got a crab on this one it's been in here for about 15 minutes or so Slowly line it in. Yeah, this this crab hung onto it. Now slowly line it in. I got a chicken to drum in here. Slowly line it in. There's some crabs on there. See if we can get them in enough, close enough to net them. Oh, he's coming in. Coming in slowly. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera or not, but. We got a fish on here on live on Probably a nice blue. Nice blue. On the live minnow. Stop, buddy. Stop. There you go. Nice blue fish. On the live minnow. There you go. Blue fish. Another bait here. Oh. Put them on here. Just like that. That last one I didn't cast too far out. So I'll try to do it again. Let me go and put this other one up too. I think I'll cast this one out a little further. Put a little bigger bait on this one. There you go. A little bigger bait on this one. Got a little bigger hook on it. Cast him out a little further out there. There we go. Just like that. This one up here. There you go. Let's see if there's any crabs. We're gonna pull up on this line slowly. Yeah, there's some in there. You can see them coming up. That's about two, maybe two crabs on there again. See if we can get them. So slowly bring them in. Got chicken on them. And then scoop them up, just like that. One's a little too small, the one I just got out, but this other one is good. Get a bite. No, I think it's another bluefish. They might be out there today. You just threw this in there. This one's way out there too. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a cobia. Baby cobia. Yeah, cobia. He's not big enough though. Cobia. He's not big enough. I'll let him go. There you go. Come 
Sokovia. There it is, Sokovia. You gotta watch his spine right there. It comes out like a razor blade. So we're gonna bring him up here and let him off the hook. Yep, nice, nice cobia. He's gotta be 33 inches or so, I think. But, come out like a razor blade right there, see? 